Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Paw News Daily. I am your host, Kelly, and thank you so much for joining me tonight. First of all, I want to say happy holidays, everyone. Well, unfortunately, I have some terrible, terrible news to share. It's Christmas Eve, and everyone is excited to open their presents. However, we have received many complaints from residents of the Possum City indicating that their presents have been stolen. A suspect has been arrested, and it is Santa Claus. Let's take a closer look now. Hi, I'm from Paw News Daily. Can you tell me what exactly happened? I heard you saw that Santa Claus stole your presents. Okay, don't even remind me about that. Do you see this right here? Do you see my lonely tree? It was packed with presents about a week ago, and look at it now. It's so lonely, it's depressing. So, is it true that you really did see Santa Claus come in and steal it? Yes, of course I did. It was about like 3 a.m. in the morning. You know, I was really thirsty, so I got out of bed and I came downstairs to get some water. And I saw Santa Claus putting all the presents in his bag. And so I was like, what are you doing? And then he just like took off. He got stuck in the chimney, but eventually someone from the other side, like on top of the roof, pulled him out. Oh my dog, this is like the first we have ever heard about that. Usually Santa Claus is the one that passes presents out, but we've never heard of a case where Santa Claus would, you know, steal and be a thief on Christmas. Yeah, I was really surprised too because, I mean, we love Santa Claus because every year he comes and gives us gifts, but I don't know, he's like cuckoo cray cray this year because he just stole all our presents and now everyone's devastated. My children are sad, I spent all that money and I'm mad. Hi, so I heard that you tried to fight Santa Claus. Is that true? Oh yeah, that's true, alright. I saw him stealing my gifts, my poor baby's gifts, so I went up to him and I punched him. Pow, pow, pow. So you punched him, but he still managed to escape? Yes, with a black eye, only because he had someone helping him. Now I don't know who those people are, but don't let me catch them, because I will give them a piece of me. Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> Are you guys okay? Do, do you guys need another minute? <laughs> I, I think we're okay. Yeah, I think, I think we're okay. So, can you tell me how you guys feel about all this happening? Well, you know, I just want to say that I'm really sad because I had a lot of presents and my parents worked so hard throughout the years to get me all these gifts, only for it to get stolen. Yeah. And I'm so mad because I just want my presents back. I hate Santa. I wish he wouldn't do that to us. Why would he? Why would he take away everyone's happiness? So did any of you actually witness Santa stealing your gifts? No, but that's what everyone says. Yeah, that's what everyone says. So it must be Santa. Oh, I can tell you. It was Santa, all right. And the reason I know, it's because I saw with my two big eyes, it was Santa Claus. I can't believe Santa would do such a thing. He literally just came through the chimney and stole our gifts. I saw him putting the gifts in his bag, and then he tried to roll out through the chimney. He got stuck, but someone pulled him out. Now, what was your reaction when you saw Santa stealing all the gifts? Well, you know I can't fight, so I threw things at him. What did you throw at him? The cookies I made for him? I can't believe it. I just took all the cookies and started throwing it at him one by one. So, did he get hurt? Nope, it went straight in his mouth. He got some good catch. Well, you could also say that I have some good aim. But I wasn't aiming for the mouth, you know. I was aiming for the big head. So, you called into our station and told us that you actually know Santa? Is that true? Yes. I do know Santa, he's my best friend. So how did you and Santa meet? Nobody ever seems to know who Santa is, so can you tell us how you guys met? Well, you know, one day I was flying through the sky, and I was sitting on a cloud, and I saw someone come towards me, 
and poof, Santa was there. I'm sorry, you were flying in the sky and you um, sat on a cloud, you said? Santa is my best friend. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, we know that Santa is your best friend, but um, how did you meet him exactly? Santa and I used to play together all the time until he left me. Why did Santa leave you? He, he, he died. <laughs> okay, cut, cut, cut. I think we have encountered a crazy. I repeat, I think we have encountered a crazy. Honestly, I don't believe it at all. Santa, Santa's a great guy. I mean, every single year he comes and gives us gifts and eats our cookies and drinks our milk and leaves us, you know, so many presents and a really, really nice card. It, it can't be Santa. I don't believe it. I just don't. So do you still have any gifts or are they all stolen this year? They're stolen, but what I'm trying to say is I don't believe Santa is the one who did it. I'm telling you guys on national TV, Santa is not the one who did it. Someone framed him. It's not him. He must be in danger right now. I mean, I don't know who did it. I didn't see a single thing. I was in bed. Oh, that's me snoring, by the way. And I didn't hear a thing. All I knew is I woke up and everything was gone. Why, well, thank you for the um, sound effect of your snoring. So, what else was missing in your house? Was anything else missing or just the presents? Um, for the most part, it was just the presents. And he did take a bite out of the cookie though. Oh, <gasps> you know what? I need to give the cookie to the police so they can examine the DNA because Santa bit into that cookie. Yes, that would definitely help solve the case. You should definitely do that. You know, I'm just really upset and really mad at Santa. I mean, why would he do such a thing? Why would any human being do such a thing to kids? It's Christmas. You know, every kid is waiting for a gift and for him to just steal the gifts, that's just, that's just not right. And I completely understand all the residents of the city of Possum are really upset and, you know, they just want the gifts back. So if Santa were to give you the gift back, would you forgive him? You know what? If Santa gives the gifts back, yes, I will forgive him. And if you ask me why, it's because it's the season of giving. So I will give him love if he returns love. And, you know, all I want for Christmas is for my kids to be happy. So if he returns the gifts, everyone will be happy. So, yes. Return the gifts, Santa. Oh, we will have to actually pass your message on to Santa because he's in jail right now. So, speaking to him on national TV, he won't be able to listen to it. Oh, okay. Yeah, pass the message on to Santa. Thanks. Well, it's a wrap, guys. Thank you all. I'm sorry? Hold on, guys. One second. Yes. <gasps> yes. Yes. I hear you. Understood. Understood. Okay. Okay, guys. It's me again. I apologize for the interruption, but it has been confirmed that Santa was not the one who stole the gifts. The suspect in hand did indeed steal the gift, but it was not Santa. It was a fake Santa. Now the real question is, where is Santa?